What's going on, guys? So I wanted to talk about this, right? When it comes to somebody trying to prophesy in your life, all right? In my experience, when people have prophesied to me, it is not some big just surprise and shock and like just wow, like really, like I what you're telling me, you like you know, like if somebody was to tell me like you know you're gonna be a CEO of 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 McDonald's or something like just something just crazy, that is that never happens to me, right? When you have a real relationship with God, usually the prophet, prophetic word that comes is going to be a confirmation or just a little bit more illumination or something that God is already showing you individually or something that you kind of, you know, know, maybe you're convicted about some things or you felt God was pulling you in a certain direction. Usually in my experience, it's not just something just just so just just way just ridiculous brand new you had no idea right when the prophet came to david and he corrected david and he confronted david or the prophet came to ahab and things like that it was it was addressing certain things that they kind of already knew and it was like god is bringing the confirmation through the prophet now there might be a little bit more guidance and some things that maybe you're not aware about and some instructions but the thing is you're gonna feel the peace because here's the most important thing i'm about to say in this video god is not the author of confusion if god is trying to give you a word he's not gonna allow it to be delivered in a way to you where you're just so confused you know it was that god i don't know if it was god is this person speaking from god you're gonna know in your spirit, something is going to tell you like, man, this, this is God trying to speak to me now, whether you want to receive what the prophet is saying, because your, your flesh might try to fight it. Like, man, that's not from God. I don't receive that. I don't believe that. That's a whole different thing in entirety. But anytime, like I've had so many people try to prophesy in my life. And usually before they even speak, the Lord is like, no, the Lord has always dealt with me like this. He gives me like this thumbs up in my spirit or a thumbs down. So many people have come to me and they say, man, I got a word for you. I mean, I'm talking about hundreds, maybe thousands of people and they just be off. They're, they're talking from their feelings. They're talking from their emotions. Are they observed? And they thought like, you know, they had me, you know, figured out or something. So something in their intellect, uh, I had somebody prophesy to me one time they said you know uh god told me that jasmine is not the woman for you and i said well god told me something else and i went and checked in with my pastor the bible says there's safety in a multitude of counseling and so i went to my pastor and i said you know do you feel god speaking to you you know anything concerning me you know uh pursuing this woman and he said no and then I, you know, and so we, we came together and, you know, we prayed about it and things like that. That's the other thing. God is a God of decency and order, right? One thing I'm not a big fan of is just random woman just running up to me saying they got a word for me. If God wants to speak to me, I've got a covering. I've got men of God, older men of God who are over me. And the thing is, yes, God can use anybody. He can use a donkey. But because God is not the author of confusion, if he really wants to tell me something, he will speak it through somebody that he knows has my ear. He will speak it through somebody. And, and somebody, some people goes, ah, I don't agree with that because you don't understand the Bible. You don't understand order. And I guarantee your life is probably out of order because a lot of people say, oh, I don't agree with that. They usually don't have no accountability in their life. They just run rampant. They do whatever they feel. You know, that's why you got so many prophets running around no accountability and all of that kind of stuff as you guys know i'm not a big fan of that uh that i don't i don't call myself anything but just brother marcus you know what i'm saying i, I don't i just feel people just abuse titles too much man and it, it actually comes from like a source of of pride you know they want to be deep like everybody wants to be a prophet nowadays like nobody wants to be a teacher people don't want to be of everybody just i want the title prophet because why they want to appear to be deep because people think, you know, prophets are just, you know, so deep or, you know, they're deeper than everybody else. But it's not the truth. All right. The spirit of God is just moving on you. And the spirit of God moves, you know, through people different ways. There's people who sing and they have a good connection with God and and they're deep. You know what I'm saying? That's why the, the songs are anointed and things like that. So that's what it's about. It's about relationship with God and then however he chooses to use and, and you know, flow through you. But the bottom line is, you know, the devil is the author of confusion. So if I got like all this chaos and all these voices in my life and all these people, they're making me, you know, spiritually schizophrenic because so many different people are telling me different things. You know, they're 
all children of God, but they're saying conflicting things. One is saying get married, the other is saying don't get married. One is saying go left, the other is saying go right. One is saying this is going to happen, and the other is saying this is going to happen. This is why you got to know the voice of God for yourself. Like I said in the beginning of the video, I've never had a prophetic word over my life that was true. That was just a complete just shock and surprise. Like when they told me, it was like it would just rest in my spirit. Like uh, there's just this feeling of peace. That's the other thing. You know what I'm saying? God will give you a peace about it. If you just just tossing and turning it, man, you just like, like I'm talking about tossing and turning with confusion. God is not the author of confusion. God has not given us the spirit of fear, but the power of love and a sound mind, right? Now, there's a thing where we have like a healthy fear of God, right? And a, a respect and a reverence. But God is not a God of fear where you just like, you know, just, just terrified. And so I've seen, you know, a lot of things. So if somebody gives you, uh, comes to you and gives you a prophetic word, you need to look at a couple things in their life. Are they in order? biblically right some lady want to get in the car with you brother and you know one-on-one -on -one, oh yeah i got a word from god for me that you know they're just just are they doing it in decency and order is their life in order i'm not gonna just trust you know somebody just run around on the street and, and they you know they have no accountability in their life and yeah i'm a prophet and all these kind of things even if what you're saying is true if god really wants to get that word to me He's going to get it to me in a way that there's no confusion and the way that's not going to make me just, you know, whatever. Because remember, the enemy has come to kill, steal, and destroy. So a lot of, you know, people running around saying, you know, I'm a prophet. I got a word for you. They come to kill and steal and destroy. They're going to steal your peace with their prophecy. They're going to bring confusion with their prophecy. They're going to bring chaos with their prophecy. Why? Because they're not speaking on behalf of God. All right, and so I already know, you know, I'm gonna get some comments in this video about the Trump thing. And like I've said a million times before, I never prophesied that Trump was going to win. I said, based on my personal feelings and what God was doing in my life and the season of grace, etc., that I believe, I believe that Trump was gonna win. You didn't see me saying, I prophesied, God told me this. I said, I believe because certain things were happening in my life concerning building the church that Trump was going to win. So I just want to say that at the end of this video, you know, to say, you know, people are going to argue regardless, but hey, I love you guys. I appreciate you guys who are uh, supporting uh, Firehouse and everything we do, www.marcusrogersministries.org. Hey, just have a wonderful day. And the bottom line is work out your own salvation with fear and trembling and get to know the voice of God for yourself. Because when you spend time with God and you spend time in the spirit, you could just tell, you could tell if somebody else is praying. You could tell if somebody else is fasting. You could tell if somebody else is really, you know, just spending that time with God and trying to live that holy life because your, your spirit bears witness because you've been in the presence of God. And it's the same thing with prophecy. You're going to be able to tell when you spend time with God if it's legit or not. Love you guys. Be blessed. Be encouraged in Jesus name.